Yeah, like that. But yeah, you know, I'm just loaded up right now. I'm in this era when I'm just by myself in my little peace world, plotting, charting, putting shit, dating, praying, writing, recording, you feel me, producing, making shit, like just creating. Cause y'all fuck with me. As soon as I put like a date up or anything, I'm sold out or like, you know, booked and busy. So as soon as I'm ready to work. Then I like this time that I got with my son. Like I'm just with him. And just be a my son, be a my son, be a my son. So yeah. He get bigger and bigger. So that's the cool part. And then I've been working out and shit. I play football now. I'm in my little element. That shit will be over ESPN. Like, I'm cool. I'm cool as fuck. So, I just want to say thank you. This was the whole point of the live. To say thank you. Uh, <laughs> free my baby daddy. <laughs> you're, you're free blue. Uh, stay blessed, y'all. That's all I got to say. Stay out, stay out the way. And if you just focus on you, what's in your lane, it don't matter what's going on anywhere around you. Feel me? That's all that matters. And you just have fun. Cause at first, you know, I was at first I was like saying all a lot of negative shit, and it made me want to respond. It made me want to like pop my shit, but. It's like, why would I even do that? You feel me? I just like y'all just talking shit. Just let y'all talk shit because that's what y'all like to do. Y'all like to talk shit. So I had to accept that. Like, oh, these niggas like to talk shit. Like, okay. They talk shit then. Feel me? So. I'm letting y'all talk shit. Uh, if you got hate towards me or whatever, drop it, because I don't know why you got that in your heart against me, so I bless it, you know what I'm saying, I'm praying for it, you feel me, I ain't even really sparked it up, but yeah, I ain't really like, I'm just thankful. Everybody just mentioned to me, that's it. Like, just imagine you just the most talked about motherfucker in the entire world. It's probably one of the coolest things, but one of the worst feelings. Like, it's the best thing because money-wise, business-wise, you could do a lot. You could accumulate a lot with that. But then dealing with the other shit that you'll talk to a therapist about, Oh, that shit is like, it's a handful, you feel me? So you got to be a real nigga to really survive <laughs> in this world shit. Because life go keep life in, and life is life in, you feel me? So, yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, my bad. This blunt is kicking. But I'm going to call y'all later because I don't even call y'all. Did y'all catch that? She's low-key crying, but she's trying to hide it. It seems like without Blueface, nobody really knows what to do because he's the mastermind behind this. And I talked about this before. Carlissa, she may be the mother and you think, you know, she has the most wisdom. She's like 50 years old or whatever. But let's just be real here. She's basically, hmm, I hate to say it like this. She's like an aged out hoe. Like, you know, she was popping back in the day because she's gorgeous. She still looks good. For a 50-year-old woman, yes, looks why she is technically competing with 30 to 35-year-olds. She is, okay? She may not be able to compete with Krishan Rock, but she's competing with, I mean, pretty much anybody's mama. There's almost nobody's mama looks that good. She's fine. Nice face, big booty and everything. And remember when she sent that picture to Blueface, allegedly? But anyways, the point is this, though. These women, 
don't know what to do without that man being there, which is typical for sisters. <laughs> and I think allegedly her career may be over as well as Carlissa. Because as crazy as it seems, you know, we look at blue faces like this young, dumb dude, this 26 year old goofball. And like, what does he know? You know, but in reality, blue face is the brains of the operation to be technical. He's Karain from the Ninja from the Ninja Turtles. He's Donatello. He's the smart one. <laughs> but people didn't peep that. And I told y'all this before. Blueface is the one that understands what to do because he is the basically the social media genius. He pretty much took Carlissa and Krishan on for the ride. He said to his mother, Hey, come with me, let's get this bread. He said to Krishan Rock, the same thing. He put them on, but a lot of people are not peeping it because they just look at him as this, this dumb, whack rapper or whatever. When in reality, you have to be a genius to take bad rap and make hit records with it and make millions of dollars and parlay it into this reality TV slash social media influencer career. It's pretty brilliant, just like Soldier Boy. People look at Soldier Boy, they be like, ah, he's whack, blah, blah, blah. But do you know how smart that is to take something that you're bad at and make money off of it? That's that Kim Kardashian stuff. That's that, oh, look at you. You're famous for no reason. I tell you what, they're also millionaires too. So I'm not mad at them. I'm not going to knock their hustle. I think that Blueface is a smart young man. He figured out some things. You know, he looked at his life like he worked like regular jobs, like nine to fives and stuff like that. And, you know, he, he's, he's a little bit of a goofball. He does some, he does some goofy stuff sometimes. But honestly and truthfully, if he had better women around him, Blueface could really be something. And, you know, Jaden is pretty much an enabler, but I don't think she's all of that bad. But like his mother just she she goes way too far sometimes. Krishan with the violence and stuff like that. Like she needs to be locked up uh, if, if she did assault that guy. If she allegedly did hit him in his face with those rings for like no reason or whatever, you know, like she needs to be locked up or whatever. But honestly, Blueface's women in his life are what's ruining him. Because if he had better women in his corner, more Jadens, if he had like two more, if his mother was another Jaden and if his baby mama, rather baby baby mama number two, if Krishan was like more like Jaden, and it sounds really crazy that I'm saying that. Because I'm not saying that Jaden is this, you know, this guardian angel or anything like that. The only thing I'm saying is this though. I don't think that she's necessarily bad for his career. I think that she understands what her position is, kind of like Memphis Bleak to Jay-Z. Like she understands that she's not the star. So she just does what she has to do, you know, to keep the lights on. But as you can see, she's been, for the most part, pretty quiet since he's been locked up. But who's been out here tupac in it, showing their behind, literally or figuratively? Out here busting heads and starting wars, like Tupac said. Like, who, who who's really out here just doing dumb stuff? Carlissa does some dumb stuff. Krishan does some dumb stuff. But for the most part, Jaden's been staying, staying out of trouble. You know, she's not making any bad headlines. When's the last time we talked about her? She's waiting for instructions from Blue. And some of you may say, well, that sounds like a harem. I mean, can't these women think for themselves and all this, you know, feminism and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and what are you trying to say that women can't think for themselves? Well, in a lot of situations, no. And this is proof of it. Blueface's absence is proving that his male presence is needed in order for the empire to stay afloat. That ship needs Blueface. He is the captain. He is the pilot. I am the captain. Now, I am Captain Blue. Captain Blue is that guy. I can't believe I'm promoting this dude like this, but it's, it's actually true. And, you know, Carlissa's out here like, yeah, she's about to quit social media or some mess. She said recently, Krishan is acting like she's crying up there on live. She's acting like she's having like a crisis without him. And, you know, she's like, oh, people are, you know, trying to like come after her and stuff like that. It's like, I mean, that's why you keep a clean record and you make sure you have, you know, you make sure you have a little something that you can cock back if somebody comes to the house. But what is she talking about? She's like, oh, be, like, did that really ever happen? It, it sounds like somebody did actually come to the house. But it's like, that's why you can't be like showing the outside of your house when you're on live and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, if you have something. And, OK, I understand that being on social media is a part of the careers, but don't show the outside of the house. Don't let people know where you're at or have any idea of approximately where you're at. Truth be told. With Krishan making the type of money that I think she's still technically making, but I think it's going down without Blue. What she should do is she she should basically leave L.A. She needs to leave California. Krishan is from the South. She is from Baltimore, Maryland. And yes, Maryland is the South. Look it up. But anyways, what she needs to do is come back East 
and not exactly in Maryland because it's a little bit too it's a little too crazy there. She should be in Virginia or somewhere that's not too far away from home. She needs to come back, come to either Virginia or D.C. or let me see, North Carolina or even go a little bit north like maybe even Pennsylvania would be OK for her to live as long as she's not like in like Philly or somewhere crazy like that. She needs to, a little bit more of like a quiet life. She needs to not be worrying about going to clubs and stuff like that. Still do the social media thing. Still do music and stuff like that. But she needs to be back east. Like, leave that West Coast life alone. And I understand you a hardcore bitch or whatever, allegedly. But no, 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 no. You're not that hard. And and they're a different breed in L.A. And that's why Blueface rolls the way that he does. I mean, he does, little dumb, he does dumb shit. Don't get it twisted. But he doesn't. Okay. He does dumb stuff, but not just for no reason. Now, there's some things that are not excusable, like when he shot at that guy's car. That was one thing I can't excuse. But Blueface is not as dumb as he appears. I don't think he's dumb, really, truthfully at all. I think he's just making the best out of the situation. He has a gorgeous mother. He has a cute baby mama, Krishan. He doesn't have all of that much talent, but he does have some sort of a business acumen because he was able to <laughs> make something out of nothing. And he made something out of nothing for multiple people. Even his sister, Callie Way, she's eating off of what he started. He low-key has a little baby empire. But the thing is this, though. Blueface needs to find some of the most talented people that he can and basically sign them. And hire some people to basically work for him and handle, like, daily operations. He should have had all of this set up. He should realize what his limitations are. And truth, truth be told, you know, he can only do so much. Because, you know, as far as producing music, he's not Quincy Jones. As far as running a record label, he's not Jimmy Iovine. You know what I mean? He's not one of the top dogs. So at the end of the day, what he pretty much needs to do, really, Blueface really needs a mentor to be technical about it. Blueface, and this is the thing, see, Blueface is under 30. And the thing about the younger generation is a lot of them don't understand something. You find somebody that is older than you to hip you to some information or put you on game, as they say, so then that way you know what to do and what not to do. And I don't think Blueface is the right mentor. A lot of people might say, well, me, what about Wack 100? Wack 100 ain't no goddamn mentor. He's Wack 100. You know what I mean? Like, he he, he helps, but he, nah, he needs somebody more mature, somebody who's not known for violence, somebody who's not a gang member. You might say, well, Blueface is a gang member. He's a crip and or allegedly and Wack 100 is allegedly a blood. And it's like, yeah, exactly. He needs somebody with more sense than him. He needs somebody who's better at business than him. Somebody with a proven track record. He needs like a Quincy Jones or somebody like that to sit up there and, and give him a little lecture and, and teach him a few things. And who knows what Blueface could be? Blueface could be another Barry Gordy. Y'all sitting up there sleeping. You see what Ray, Ray, Ray J did with Ray, Raytronics, Raycon or whatever. Isn't that like a multi-million dollar company? I remember years ago, I had made a video when nobody was talking about it. None of the blocks that I can remember. And I said, you know, with Ray J getting into technology and everything, I said, you know, he might end up being like uh, some black Bill Gates type of stuff. He might end up being really successful when it comes to technology because, you know, a, you know, a lot of people don't really even get involved with stuff like that because they don't think about doing that. They think about making whack music or whatever. And that's another thing, you know, Blueface needs to expand his empire. And I don't mean making those ratchet ghetto movies like what Dame Dash or somebody is doing. Not that garbage. We don't need any of that. But like, it, you know, for one thing, clothing, that's something that he could branch off into as well as food. You know, he, he could have some sort of like food items, some blue face chips, <laughs> blue, face, blue face potato chips. How about popcorn? I don't think any rapper has their face on a bag of popcorn. I know y'all probably think I'm kidding, but I'm very serious right now. Nobody's listening to this video. We're almost 15 minutes in. Nobody's still listening. Anyway, to let me know you made it until the end of the video for the two people who did listen to this, this rambling. If you made it to the end of the video, please say the following in the comment section. This is the secret password. Secret password is, if you think that Christian Rock's career is going down without the assistance, the knowledge, the expertise, the leadership a blue face say it's over that doesn't mean it's literally over it just means that things are going down if you think that everything's okay without blue face and carlissa and krishan and the rest of them they can figure it out without blue 
say they got this. That'll let me know that you believe in these women and you th you think they can figure it out without blue. You know, some of y'all sisters don't be listening. You don't listen to us, but I, I mean, I'm trying to tell, tell you, blue face, uh, big yellow, <laughs> big yellow is 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 way smarter than what y'all think. But anyways, make sure you click the thumbs up button. It's free. Subscribe. It's free. Choose all notifications. It's free. Ninety nine. If you want to make a donation to the channel, that's not free, but you can donate to me as little as a couple dollars or whatever. I'm not dry begging, but you can give me some money. Only thing you gotta do is click the super thanks button. It's next to the thumbs up button. Actually, the thumbs down button is next to the thumbs up. But the super thanks button is right next to that, and you can donate something to me. Anyways, make sure you click thumbs up. If you don't do anything else, leave a comment. Even if you're just saying hi. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Shout out to Krishan. Shout out to Kalissa. Shout out to Blue. Keep your head up. In there in jail. You got <laughs> some people who say you're in jail because of Krishan Rock. But, but anyways, yeah. Well, I mean, Krishan Rock is really the village idiot. But that's not the topic for another time. I don't care how cute she is. She got fat little booty on her. But she, 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 she's dumb. This is why you gotta choose wiser, man. You know, you can't just be out here smashing anything. You end up with, with the wrong baby mama. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It sucks, but it's true. I mean, and I really wanted to like Krishan, but she's just so, she's so doofy. 